What's up, everybody out there? Big news for all the Rocky people out there. Looks like Creed 3 has been pushed back from November of this year to March of next year. Looks like MGM wanted Sylvester Stallone to come in and uh, kind of touch up the script and um, make a cameo or something. And apparently he said, nah, I'm straight. I'm good. I understand that he wasn't really happy when he was filming Creed 2. I think he had a whole storyline where he wanted to show more of Drago's backstory about, you know, I think him working in the like underground part of uh, Russia or the Ukraine. And I believe they took it somewhere else. Now, MGM has to be careful going forward with these Creed movies because you don't want to do to the rocky franchise what disney did to star wars um they kind of those movies they made you know uh, what was it episode seven eight nine i mean i don't even consider those part of the movies why because george lucas really didn't have any input when mark hamill had something to say about his character you know telling um ryan whatever the guy's name was that luke wouldn't act like this the dude kind of just like yeah whatever i'm doing it anyway so MGM, Michael B. Jordan, they have to stay true to the characters. And, you know, the fact that Rocky's not in it, I don't, I want to see it, but not near as much because these are Sylvester Stallone's characters. He knows how to write these for these characters because he created them. So maybe he wants to see how well Michael B. Jordan can do on his own, like at the end of Creed 2, is like he gave him a fist bump, like passing the torch, so to speak. Maybe he just wants to see what he can do with the movies. Um, I'm pretty sure he didn't like the uh, the music so much, you know. I'm not too big on the music in Creed 2. It doesn't have that theme, theme song feeling that you get from the Rocky movies, but... um. Yeah, it looks like Creed 3 has been pushed back. They may tweak it, you know. I don't know. I think Creed 2 was good, but it could have been a little better. I thought, you know, Clubber Lane could have made an appearance somewhere, you know, for all those people that grew up watching Rocky. But I hear, and I talked about this before, that it looks like they are going to do a Drago spinoff. It looks like a guy named Robert Lawton is... um going to be writing the Drago spinoff. The characters actually, to me, were more interesting in Creed 2 than Donnie's character, because I thought Donnie was just whining and whimpering a little bit too much in Creed 2. I didn't even like when he was fighting Victor Drago, and he's taking the body shots, and he's on the ground, like, squirming in a fetal position, screaming. I'm like, I've been watching boxing since I was a, a child. I've never seen a fighter on the ground screaming and, you know, no matter how many body shots he took. I've seen Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson. They've knocked out so many dudes, and I've yet to see one of their opponents on the ground, like, screaming. I thought, that's just not boxing. And I thought, too, the choreography in Creed Two wasn't as good as when Ryan Coogler did it for Creed, the first Creed. It looked too... Um, it looked too choreographed to me. It didn't look like a real fight at times. It looked like, okay, you throw, you throw, I block, I block. It looked too kind of like a, a karate movie. Um, we'll see what happens with Creed 3, but um, it definitely could use Sylvester Stallone. And I don't even know if Sylvester Stallone is involved in this new Drago spinoff. Hopefully he is, because like I said, these are his characters, and we don't want MGM to come in and do what Disney did to Star Wars. Now, Disney kind of made up for it with the Mandalorian. Um, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi was pretty interesting. I enjoyed that. Um, just started. I'm kind of late on the Boba Fett thing. I, I started watching. It's kind of starting off slow, so I still got to, you know, watch that and give my opinion on that, hopefully. But I'm pretty excited about a Drago spinoff because, like I said, it seems like those characters were a lot more uh, interesting than Donnie's character. I just want to see how they interact and try to rebuild themselves back after Drago's wife, Ludmila, left him and Victor. I want to hear more of the backstory on what happened after Drago lost uh, in Rocky Four. Of course, he kind of told some of that to Rocky in his restaurant. 
at the beginning of um, Creed 2, but I just like to hear more of that. Drago was always interesting because he didn't really talk much in Rocky IV, so it was good to see him give some facial expressions, smile occasionally. I still don't like the fact that they took out that fight scene with Drago and Rocky in the hospital in Creed 2, and it's not even on the deleted scenes on the Blu-ray or the DVD. So I saw it on YouTube. Uh, I thought that'd be a great scene, you know, but, you know, Creed 2 kind of drags a little bit. Hopefully Creed 3, they learn how to pace it a little better. But uh, I'm looking forward to a Drago spinoff. Um, I was watching uh, Tyrone Magnus, and he was saying he didn't really think the Dragos were sympathetic uh, characters because, you know, of what Drago said after he uh, took uh, Creed out, you know, how he wasn't remorseful, so he doesn't feel like they should be shown any sympathy. But, you know, maybe they're going to try to show it from the aspect of maybe he was doing it for his country and he was almost brainwashed or maybe he feared for his life. So maybe he looked at it like a war, like I have to take him out or they're going to take me out. I don't know where they're going to take it, but I do look forward. I look way more forward to a Drago spinoff than this new Creed movie. But like I said, I, I am interested in Creed three, just not near as interested with no Sylvester Stallone. That's like uh, J, uh, Dallas with no JR. It's like uh, Star Wars with no uh, Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker. It just it doesn't have the same thing. I mean, look how big Rogue One was just because of that little fast scene at the end with Darth Vader going through the hallway like mopping people. So people were big on nostalgia and, um, you know, Stallone has such screen presence that I mean, even if he was in, in Creed 3 for just five minutes, it would add a lot to it. But I guess he's done. I think he's working on a, a Rocky prequel. But I think it'll be like a series maybe on um on Amazon Prime or something. I look forward to that. Let me know what you guys think of a Drago spinoff and what direction do you think they should take it? Do you think uh, Creed 3 should have Sylvester Stallone in it, Mr. T? Um, do you think Drago... And his son should be in this one too. Anyway, let me know. This is J. Roos Theory, LSR Forever. The reason I do this, make sure to subscribe, comment, and be fearless. Yay, yay.